Good morning. Good morning. It gets night. real dark really quickly in Canada. Oh, we slept yeah. in late. No, actually, guys, it's like 5 a.m. It's still dark. It's not yeah. Oh, yeah, 5 a.m. That's how early it's, really uh, It's 5.44 a.m. It's yep. because yeah. we live so far north that the sun only comes out for like 15 minutes a day. Right, right. If yeah. you get near the North Pole, that thing, that happens, you know? Yeah. You know? I do. Am I right? Yeah, sure, yeah. So, Ava. Yeah. Are you enjoying your final Tim Hortons? Oh, I am. <laughs> I'm being kicked out of the house. Is that true? It's true. It's true, I'm kicking her out. That's true. Corrado's kicking me out. <laughs> he pulled me aside last night. He was like, listen, you gotta go. You're interrupting my bromance. <laughs> we were talking about bromance last night. <laughs> she, she is right. I'm going back home because I start school tomorrow. So School? Yeah. What grade are you in? <laughs> we always, we always oh dear. I'm a junior. That I'm in nothing. college. Is that like first year? No. Third year? America's, yes. America's weird. It's Starting weird. my third year. That's silly. Don't do that. Yep. So because this car gets used a lot, and uh, because Corey uses it, specifically Corey, it tends to get smelly. <laughs> what? <laughs> None of that's true. <laughs> None of that's true. First of all, I smell really good. Burn. Second of all, what am I gonna use the car to go? Where am I gonna go? You I got nowhere to go. The car. You've been like the only one to I got use nowhere the car to go. this past week. I'm sorry, I had to go to the doctor. <laughs> but I have this. It is a um, Canadian scented air freshener. Does it smell like free health care? I don't know. I bet it smells like pine trees and flannel. Whoa! It smells like something. <laughs> it has wow. a smell. Oh, that's weird. I, kind of it's, I smell it. Don't worry about it. Do you like it? Holy cow. Do you like it? No. It's so you like it? powering right do you, now. Do you like it? I, think I don't know if I... I don't know if I like it. I'm not impressed. I think we should put the bag back on. It's too overpowering. It smells yeah, like... It smells like cleaning. Well, it the bag like... exploded. You're supposed I'm, to like take it I'm off. I'm really strong. Wow. Okay, Good. well... Great. Put it in the... Put it inside anyways. No! Oh, no. You can go in here and we'll deal with you later. He's leaving. Yeah. Don't seem so happy about it. Silly. This is not a laughing matter. You right? Yep. Me too. Yep. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. When am I gonna see you again? I don't know. Alright, that's rude. Hopefully soon. Yeah. Couple weeks. I got school and I got work. Time to get back to work. Hi. Hi. What'd you think? It was really good. Of what? What was really good? I've fallen down these stairs before <laughs> onto popcorn with you guys standing right over here. Yep. Hey, it's Brock. Hi. Hey, Brock. Hey. We just saw the desolation of Smaug. 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 Which is how it's pronounced. Smaug. The tyrannical. Wow, look at how tough you look. I'm Captain America. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so there was one, well, one shot used twice in The Hobbit 2 that I really enjoyed. Okay. Um, it stood out to me, and I actually went to go, like, Hit you on the shoulder, Saskia. I'll be like, oh, look, but then it disappeared. And then it came back and I was like, up, oh, and then it was gone again. <laughs> there is a spot where, without giving any spoilers, spoilers suck. They're talking to Thorin about, you know, oh, we don't want you to become like the previous king, mm -hmm. you know, greedy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and he walks into the shot. And he's like, I'm nothing like my father. And he's standing, and it's a perfect... <laughs> Is that how he said it? Yeah, exactly like that. Trust me, uh, I would know. Okay. And you see a perfect profile shot, and in the distance is a profile shot uh, of a statue of the previous king. Hmm. And their features, like, line up perfectly in the distance. Mm. And he just, like, it's there, and then he walks into the frame and just pauses, and it just lines up perfectly. Wow. And I saw that, and I was like, ooh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. Mm. And they cut away, and they cut back to it, and I was like, yeah, it's still a good shot. Second time. It's still a good shot. Well, if it's good the second time, then you know it's good. Sometimes you can overuse a shot. Yeah. That's not one of those times. Mm. So, good. it was a good one. I just really enjoyed just the whole cavernous area. 
with the dragon in it, which is not a spoiler because you know that from the first movie. There's a dragon in a big cavern made There's by dwarves. There's a dragon? There's a dragon? What? I thought he was a lizard. You're crazy. Just a flying lizard, guys. No big deal. He but flies? I just really enjoyed everything in all of just the big cavernous halls. It was just really cool. And I wanted to go halls. there. I just wanted, to, I was like, I want to go there really badly. And I'm like, man, I want to be on that set. That set is amazing. And then I realized that it's probably all green screen. Yeah. Which is really depressing. You don't want to go to it that. It was really cool. Major flaw. What? How is that place so lit? What do you mean? How is that the, inside the abandoned dwarven Because mountain? dwarves know what they're doing. It's just magically lit. Yeah. All the shine off of everything. They know what they're doing. Shine they have, what? well, there's one, like one hole in the top of the mountain oh, and see. then they have the the way that they carve everything it takes place at night uh-huh keep going the way that the moonlight the okay. moon was ridiculously bright the moon was bright the way that they carve everything oh, it just reflects and then there's a lot of um shiny stuff in this cavern oh yeah so, so what it is just the shines and reflects like silvery goldy as opposed to like dark blue no no, I see. <laughs> Definitely not. All right. Whatever you say. Credo is a grump. He just doesn't care about movie magic at all. He just wants to. He just wants to analyze everything to the it's point of no return. It's my job. That's your job. Yes. It's your job to analyze perfectly <clears throat> good movies. I have many movies. jobs. Uh huh. Uh, my job One of them is, is being to, a jerk to uh, me. Overanalyze, and the other job is to be a jerk to Saskia <laughs> as much as possible, uh -huh. and make your life as difficult as possible. You suck. It's written down. It's is it? The, it's That's written the, uh, down. It's in the boyfriend code. Wow. Sorry, guys only. Girls can't read. <laughs> what? Sorry about your luck. Okay. Well, you have fun reading your boyfriend code. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay. While you do that. Okay. Hope everybody has a good night. All of your boyfriends could be the God. Really? <laughs> good night. Give me daily vlogs. I want them in my subscription box. I wonder who might drop by. Even though sometimes it's Canada outside So don't go away, we're here every day It's not Apprentice A, it's Apprentice A Hey, 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 hey Home is where the fog is